Hiya, welcome back. This is today's Oracle message and I am Lou of Lou G's Angelic Connections. So the energies I am feeling today are extremely strong. There's quite a lot of, um, I felt them yesterday, the masculine energy came in yesterday, but it was a very confident moving forward. Owning your magnificence was the huge, um, just the main theme of it. Just being yourself. However, today it seems to have shifted and this masculine energy has now taken on more of an unbalanced energy. And it's sort of, it's like you're almost trying to force things to happen, force it instead of just letting it flow. Certain situations that are now starting to really get on your nerves. As you can feel my hand, it's like, oh, I've had enough. I can't do it anymore. And it's going to cause this volcano to erupt within you. Your power is being able to control your own emotions, be able to control your own actions. You are not responsible for everyone else. What others are doing, what situations are in your life, there's lots of different influences there. Your point of power is how you react. Do you want to be this person that is going to go in all guns blazing, volcano erupting, so that you can later on sit back and think, what have I done? Or do you want to take a more steady approach? Do you want to just find your calmness, find your peace, ground yourself and act in a way that is more fitting, act in a way that is more authentic to you. Always act in a way that is your true way. Don't let situations, people, wind you up okay because that is the feeling today and it is pushing your masculine your masculine energies yes they are wanting to move forward they are wanting to carve out the path don't now let them be too forceful and start chunking away at the path is what i'm feeling it's like because it's not going to make it it may by just it's like taking instead of like having a steamroller go over your path and make it all nice and smooth it's like having a pickaxe and just chipping away at it and it makes the the path uneven it makes it unsteady it doesn't make it stable it makes it more difficult to travel okay so that's the energies today that's what i'm strongly feeling Connect with Mother Earth. Do some grounding. Deep breathing exercises. Things are being sent to try you today. Don't become a volcano. Act with integrity. So I have been drawn to my Angels and Ancestors deck. Just going to pull one card above all cards as always. Dear angels, guys, keep us alight. Please guide me at this time. Which one message, above all messages, do I need to bring through? Was in the highest good of the collective to receive at this time? Let's have a look. Just one card. Ooh, that's too many. Just one card. Which one card above all cards has a message for us at this time? There is too many. We're not going to get one, are we? There we go. That was 444 four, four on the clock there. Don't try and make things happen. They will happen in their own time. So we have summer, 
Bask in joy and light. Where is the summer cards? Let's have a look. <clears throat> there we go. I'll hold that there for you. So the message today is summer. Bask in joy and light. Rise up, open your wings and shine. Bring your projects and plan out into the light, into manifesting. Summer has always been recognised as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers are in bloom and animals are enjoying the freedom of the wild summer days and nights. And people are taking holidays, basking in the sunshine and being lifted energetically by the light and warmth. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labour. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors' guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward. Because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment and expansion. This is a great chance for you to have extra energy, creativity and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is inspiration directly from the divine. When the summer card arrives in your future position of a spread or at the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher an important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Okay, so what was I saying? Don't force it. Don't start chipping away at that path. Instead, go steady with that steamroller, rolling out the concrete, making it smooth. Don't chunk away with it, with the pickaxe and make it hard. For some of you, this is the sign that your work, your hard work will start manifesting in the summer months. Um, I do believe we are more or less summer months are we summer months now i think we possibly are being locked away like this is just it's not really not really helping us remember what day of the week it is let alone which month or season so just go steady enjoy this time enjoy this peaceful time don't try and force anything just go with the flow everything is working out exactly as it should be you are where you need to be right now enjoy it make the most of it and keep that path smooth don't dig trenches where trenches don't need to be dug okay so hope that has helped you you take care i'll see you again soon Bye bye